everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Marion today's video I thought that I would rank my face primers I'm in the process of putting up my makeup because I just recorded a very chaotic try on video you've probably already seen that video if you haven't I will link it somewhere up here or down below but yeah that was fun but before I jump into this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, share my videos because sharing is caring. Leave a comment down below. Give this video a big thumbs up. And now that I've ran through all of that, let's jump right into it. Okay, so first things first, Milk Hydro Grip Primer, five out of five. Love this primer. Love how it grips my makeup how it makes my makeup last long i know some people don't like this but i will continue to repurchase this as you can see i'm almost done with it and when sephora have their sale if this video is posted before the sale i will definitely be re-upping on it i don't know how to basically explain this primer okay Yes, I do. It's gripping, but it's not drying. Well, for my skin tone or for me. And it doesn't dry out my foundations. Now, I do have to be careful if I use a super duper matte foundation, but your skin prep will kind of like alleviate all of that. So that's why I like this now. It's not cheap. So there are dupes out there that you can try out, but for me, I'm a Milk Hydro Grip Primer Stand. So like I said, five out of five. So dupes for the Milk Hydro Grip. Everyone talks about the ELF Power Grip Primer as the dupe for the Milk. I have the original one and then I have this one that has 4% Niacinamide. Now, they do grip your makeup. However, they're not holy grails to me sorry this one i would give a four out of five i really like the original one it grips the makeup it does what it's supposed to do however to me it's a little bit too grippy this one here it's even more grippier i don't know i just feel i can feel it sitting on my face whereas with the milk hydro group one when i apply it it absorbs to the skin and i don't have like this certain funky Feel. like when I put this on when I do like this I can feel the product still sitting on my skin so for this one I would give it a two out of five and like I said four out of five if I'm gonna repurchase any one of these it'll definitely be this one especially to just keep it on the affordable side don't kill me sorry moving on to Giorgio Armani luminous silk hydrating primer love this will repurchase is expensive in my opinion and I got this from um, influencer to do a review so I didn't pay for it so I am willing to come off the coins for this primer and I'm definitely gonna take advantage of that during the sale so I give this primer a five out of five it is like one of my top five primers and I highly recommend you try it out especially if you have dry skin or if you're normal or if you just like a luminous type of primer, this one here, get it. Puda Beauty Water Jelly Hydrating Primer. I mean, I don't know if it's supposed to give like a revolutionary hydrating feel because to me, it's more like a serum for skincare, but I do like it so i'll give it a 3.5 out of 5 i have been using it um i just would pair this with another primer if you want your makeup to last long you know what i'm saying so will i repurchase it no but it's not a bad type of primer i just didn't feel like it just did anything for me moving along to danessa myrig's yummy skin glow serum five out of five love this definitely pairing it with the yummy skin foundation five out of 
five out of five. You can use this not only as primer, but also a part of your skincare regimen. Um, when you squeeze it out, it's a dark color, but it does not change the color of your foundation. It does not make your skin look dark or tan or anything. It's just the way that the serum comes out. I don't know what Danessa does with her formulas or whatever, but she she has a unique way of you know creating these products. Will I repurchase it? Yes. This is $34 or $32. So I highly recommend if you want to try it out, get it during the sale. So five out of five if I didn't say it five out of five stars next up is lis secure skin gripping serum primer so to me this reminds me of the milk hydro grip primer but at a more affordable cost so this is in between drugstore and high-end and it is black owned black woman owned and it's vegan a clean beauty brand i've used this primer maybe three times since i purchased this so i need to you know give it a little bit more you know use to give a truthful opinion but thus far i will give it a 4.5 out of 5. um will i repurchase it based on what my usage and what has occurred before yes i will so um it says it's pore and shine control this one has five percent niacinamide in it and aha but it's not as gripping as the e.l.f. one with 4% niacinamide. So I don't know, maybe it's the other ingredients in that one that just makes it just sits on my skin. But this one doesn't do that. So if you want to check out anything from LIS, definitely get this primer. Another Huda Beauty primer. This is the Matte Perfecting Pre-Makeup Base. I haven't used this or have I? Nope. I don't really go from matte primers i think i got this because it was on sale so i really can't rate this but i want to show it if you've used this let me know give give your thoughts on this i'm a little afraid to use it because i don't want a super duper matte look but i have it in my collection so i do need to put it to use because i paid my coins for it we are winding down to the last two here is the brightening youth glow brightening color correcting glow primer from charlotte tilbury it's okay i like it will i repurchase it no because it is expensive i got this in one of her mystery boxes so i can't justify paying what this costs because it really didn't do anything revolutionary that's my favorite word revolutionary for my skin, for my makeup, compared to other primers that cost way less. So I will give this a 3.5 out of 5. Last but not least is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base All-in-One Primer and Moisturizer. 5 out of 5. I love this. Mainly because it's multi-use. I can use it as a primer. I can use it as a moisturizer. And either way, I see the results. As a moisturizer, it has my face moisturized, looking hydrating, looking glowy, but not over the top. So there's a balance. And as a primer, it meshes well with all of my other makeup products. Never have I had an issue with using this as a primer and my makeup coming out patchy or um, discoloration or having any type of issues with my makeup not lasting long so this one here costs a pretty penny as well so i always catch this when it's 50 percent off at ulta or at sephora so if you want to try out bobby brown again get it during the sale so the sale will be i think start april 14th and it typically lasts like a week a week and a half rouge is 20 percent vib i think it's 15 percent and then regular insider is 10 percent if that's incorrect i will have the right information down below if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell and as always thank you for watching I'm going back, I'm going back.